Hello and welcome to this video on Composer. In this video we're going to introduce CSS which stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Most modern websites use CSS to control the layout and the formatting across the entire website and if you use website templates to build your own websites you'll find that the modern ones they use CSS too and once you get into WordPress themes and start manipulating those you'll have to load CSS then too. Okay, let's start with a blank worksheet. So let's save this. Call it test page. Just leave it as test page. Okay, though there's nothing on the actual preview window, if we go to the source, there's a little bit of HTML there to start with, just to introduce the document type, HTML, and gives the page title there. If we go back to our normal window and type in a title, this is my title. Okay, without any formatting at all, let's take a look at that in the source. And you can see that's been applied there. Hello, this is my title. Go back to normal. If we want to apply some formatting to that, let's suppose we made it red. Okay, made it larger and bold as such go back to the source code and you can see the title hello this is my title now has some attributes such as a color which in computer speak is rgb 20400 or red the font weight is bold and it's used these big tags to make the text larger okay there is a another way to do that okay let's remove that formatting by clicking the undo so we get back to our original state as such let's type in some more text this is the main text of my website also known body text okay so by default, as I say, this is known as the body text. And you'll see here, within this field, it states body text, which is the format of what you see. So there is a way to change that body text by using the CSS. To get into the CSS, click on the Cascades icon there. And what we're going to do is create a style rule. It's checked at the moment as style applied to all elements of type. If we click on this drop down arrow and select body text, we're going to create a style rule. Okay, so it's asking us to create a style rule for body. Click on the tab text and then you can begin by formatting the text within this area. If I just move this box a little, then you can see behind the actual text in the composer window. And as we make changes here, You'll see it happen in this preview window here and also on our actual web page here. So first let's change the font family. Let's have it as Arial and you see that's changed. The font size, let's make that 14 pixels, okay, which is PX. You could make it 14 centimeters, but that'll be a little large or millimeters or points. And you can use this up and down arrow to make it bigger or smaller. And you can see how that changes there and there. Let's go back to 14 pixels. Yeah. We can change the colour. I mean, for body text, you'd really want to keep that black. But let's see what it looks like in red. Okay, you see that changes. But let's go back to black. Okay, you can change the font weight. Maybe bold. Let's leave that as normal. And you can apply text decorations such as underline. But again, for body text, let's just leave it as a regular black. Click OK. And that applies the formatting to the body text which we've now defined. But what about this title? Let's highlight that. And here, push the drop down arrow. What I'm going to do is apply what's called a heading one. And when I click on that, you see it applies the heading one formatting. 
and if you go to the source code you can see hello this is my title is now surrounded by these h1 tags there and there the h1 tags are very important because the search engines place a lot of emphasis as what's contained within those h1 tags so you'll want to use them but obviously you'll want to apply your own format to it rather than the default of composer so to do that again go to the css icon okay we want to add a new style click on this icon here the palette icon okay new style and we want to change the h1 create style rule okay that adds h1 and you can change that just as you did previously with the body text so for this one let's have Arial font size let's make that bigger so let's make that 20 pixels okay actually let's make it a little bigger how big 24 26 pixels for a title let's use the red okay font weight let's go bold and if you wish you could add any text decorations line through underline I'm not going to add any text decorations but I think I will change the case so as to capitalize that makes the first letter of each a capital letter okay and you see it's changed the format of our h1 okay let's add one more piece of formatting let's suppose we wanted this is a sub title okay and we can change that to rather than heading one we can have heading two okay and using the css we can change the formatting of that heading two so click on the css icon on the palette icon new style rule for the h2 create style rule and let's go to text keep that as Arial font size 20 pixels color let's also have that as red okay um, let's make it a little smaller 18 and let's capitalize it too okay so now we've created a heading 2 okay let's take a look at what we've actually done there if we click on the CSS icon and you see we've changed the body let's click on the body and the star rule which we've applied under this general tab you can see for the body we've made the font family Arial font size 14 pixels the color black and the font weight normal for the h1 tag font family is Arial font size 26 the color in hexadecimal is 990000 which is red font weight bold and the text is capitalized and for the h2 that's similar to the h1 but the font size is 18 okay and if we go to the source code you can see in the html code those styles actually appear at the top of the sheet between these style tags there and there okay you see we've got the h1 h2 and the body if you were to create lots of web pages such as you would for a complete website or if you have many web pages of a similar design what would be a good idea is to take all this between the style tags so from here to here and cut that and actually save that in its own document so if I paste that in my notepad and save that as well typically they're called style dot CSS save okay and then rather than having the style in each and every single web page what you would do is put a link here to that style sheet we just created and then when you wanted to update a web page rather than updating each web page individually 
you could just update the style sheet. So for instance, you could change the, the font size of the H1 to 20 on your style sheet, or maybe even the color to zero zero, which is black. And let me show you where I get those numbers from. If you go back to Composer and click on the, go to the normal window, click on the color icon. So black, you click on that, it changes the hex value. So that's all the zeros. Whereas red was the 9900. Zero, zero. If you wanted a blue color, that's 000066, zero, 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 six, six, which you can change on your style sheet by using 006666 and then save it and that color change would apply across all the web pages which you have linking to this style sheet and anyway i'll go into more about that in upcoming videos so until then have a great day